Well, it's nine o'clock. Yay, welcome.
I'll just give a couple more minutes to let everyone settle in and then we'll start. So let's begin. So thank you everyone for showing up and participating in CNH Circle K Week. Um, kicking off the week, we have our Circle K 101 webinar. Yay! Okay, so Circle K 101 webinar, it's going to be hosted by the District Membership Development and Education Committee. If you don't know who um, there's the chair, myself, um, Helen Nguyen, and then on our committee, we have our EA, Ami from UC Irvine, our club building and revitalization chair, Andrew, who recently transferred to Fullerton, um, our exposition coordinator, Eric from Cal State Long Beach, our resources coordinator, Jennifer Quay from Fullerton, our webinar and workshops co-chairs, Yen both from San Fran State University and Sabrina Fang from UC Irvine. And our three reps, Jeremy from CSU San Marcos, um, Jennifer from Sac State, and Catherine from UCLA. Okay, let's begin. So what is Circle K? Circle K is the largest collegiate service organization in the world. We have over 13,000 members worldwide and also over 550 clubs on different campuses. We have different levels um, for members to participate in. Um, we have the club level, division, district, and international. And our Circle K motto is live to serve, love to serve. So speaking of the different levels, I'm going to explain to you how um, the breakdown of each level. So first off, we have club. So in the club, we have our executive board that consists of the president, so either general vice president, VP of administration, or VP of service. Um, we also have our secretary and our club treasurer. Um, next, we have our appointed board. Um, this board consists of members who applied and they're chosen from the executive board. And this consists of either position, positions such as Kona's family chair, membership development and education chair, fundraising chairs, social chairs, and so on and so forth. Um, next, we have our family heads. Um, not every club has a family system, but for some clubs, such as like the larger clubs, they do have family systems with family heads. Next up, um, we have committees that members are able to join for clubs. Um, these are held by the appointed board with different committees, such as the Tech and PR committee, again, the md &E committee, or the creative committee, and so on and for so forth. And last but not least, 
our general members. So members like you um, who are returning or new members, um, you're the foundation of our club. So thank you for participating in Circle K and making us what we are. Next, we have division. So we have nine divisions in our district, which is the Cal Nevada district. Um, in the northern area, we have Capital Division, um, which consists of Reno and around Sacramento area. Um, we have Golden Gate Division, which consists of the San Fran Bay area and also like Berkeley. We have Sunset, which consists of um, Santa Cruz and so on and so forth. And then Central Division, I mean Central Region. We have Central Coast, uh, which is like, for example, we have schools from Santa Barbara and then also Merce UC Merced, uh, Desert Oasis. So these are the schools um, from uh, Nevada um, in the Las Vegas area and also UC Riverside and et cetera. And then Foothill Division, we have schools such as um, PCC, um, and yes. And then Southern Region, we have Magic Kingdom, which consists of the Orange County area, um, Metro, which consists of Long Beach and the Los Angeles area, and then we have Paradise, which is Hawaii and San Diego. So yay. And within the division, how you can participate is there's a lieutenant governor for each division, so they're in charge of all the schools within the division. And there's also a, a divisional leadership team that you can participate in. You can apply, and then the um, lieutenant governor will appoint their DLT. And yeah, usually that consists of an EA or um, a creative assistant, and so on and so forth. Next, we have our district. So again, our district is Cal Nevada. So that consists of California, Nevada, and Hawaii. Yay. And on our district, we have our district board. And that consists of our executive board, which is the district governor, district secretary, and district treasurer. Our lieutenant governors, like I explained earlier, there's different divisions. And each division has a lieutenant governor. And our appointed board, so our chairs. Um, and below, you can see all the um, committees, our district committees that members can partake in. Uh, usually, you apply during May, and the committee chairs will appoint all the committees. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different committees that everyone can participate in, uh, such as communication and marketing, district convention, fall training conference, the finance and fundraising committee, Kiwanis Family and Foundation, Membership Development and Education, Member Recognition, Laws and Regulation, and Service Committee. So next up, we have International. And we have Quay to talk about our International. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Jennifer Quay, and I'm from Cal State Fullerton. Uh, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our International part of the uh, organization because we are Circle K International. If you haven't learned that, you have learned uh, that you are a part of a worldwide organization. So this is the breakdown of how the international system works. First, you, in terms of leadership, you have the international president and the international vice president. Um, you also have the trustee at large, and that trustee at large actually takes care of the clubs that reside outside of the United States, um, as well as many of these uh, countries are not English speaking countries, and that's how they get to work. That individual or the trustee at large gets to work with all of those different countries. Next, we have the subregion trustees. Um, we are a part of subregion B, uh, which consists of the California, Nevada, Hawaii district, the Rocky Mountain district, as well as the Southwest district. And we're pretty much the Southwest portion of the United States. The thing is there are different areas within Circle K International and these trustees pretty much serve as the Lieutenant Governor. And they're the ones who talk to the governors from all of these different districts as well as take care of all of our members from a certain subregion. And they end up reporting that uh, the information from those areas to the international board. So they're pretty much representing us. Uh, and 
Banna Tespe, who is here uh, in our chat, she is actually our subregion B trustee and she goes to Northern Arizona University. So she is from Arizona or the Southwest District. Um, and we're happy to have her here. Thank you. Uh, after that, actually, so, you know, all of these different uh, positions that are on the international level, you can actually run for these positions. Um, so that means you could possibly represent California, Nevada, Hawaii, represent subregion B um, when you get elected. Uh, but for those of you who are kind of like, I actually want to be able to serve on international committees, that's totally cool too. Um, we have a lot of different committees that you can join. Um, one of those is the membership and marketing committee. And if you are interested in graphic designing, um, editing videos, uh, providing information between um, international and the membership aspect of Circle K International and getting information out there, that's the committee for you. Next is the Kiwanis Family Relations Committee. And in this committee, you're pretty much serving um, as a liaison between Circle K International and another part of our Kiwanis family branch. Um, next is going to be service. And the service committee is actually going to be in charge of all of the different partners that Circle K International works with uh, and how we can incorporate um, our members into being more involved with our service partners. Um, after that, we have the CKIX Planning Committee, which I'm a secretary of. Uh, and at the end of the year for the Circle K International Term, we have a giant international convention where everybody who is a Circle K International paid member is invited to go to. Uh, this year, that's going to be in Chicago. So uh, if you are interested in uh, helping plan this convention, you're more than welcome to ask me any questions that you would like. Next is the International Expansion Committee. So they will be working with the um, trustee at large in order to work with all of these different clubs that are outside the United States. And predominantly, um, for example, if you're interested in working with um, in the Philippines, if you're working with uh, South America, um, that would be something really interesting to join. Uh, and finally, governing docs committee. So if you are going into law, for example, or if you're interested in really looking through all of the laws that dictate what Circle K International does, um, then you are more than welcome to join this committee as well. But if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me. You can ask Vanna um, or anybody else in the MD committee, MD &E committee, and we will get you there. All right. Okay, thank you, Kay. Okay, next, our three tenants. So Circle K consists of a three tenant ship and fellowship, and we're gonna break it down on how you can get involved and why it's important in our organization. Okay, okay so service. Service is the core of Circle K. It's what um, every member hopes to embody, um, to be great members, to serve the community. And um, part of service is in our district, we have a district service initiative. So this year's um, initiative and focus is be the change personal health and um, how you can get involved on campus for different services is like um, doing tabletop service at, on your campus or doing any um, anything involving your campus like for example Orange Coast College we have our recycling center so we do service through that and other schools can get involved in other different ways and then serving within the community so you can take part in uh, different marathons or different service project projects that um, your local area needs help with um, helping like the homeless or planting gardens or doing beach cleanups so there are different ways to get involved and it's really important because like our organization really wants to focus on providing like service to the community as a whole. So yeah, does anyone else wanna add in about service? Okay, next, I'll just continue. We have leadership. So why do we focus on leadership? We wanna develop members. We want you to gain something from this organization other than like serving and like meeting friends. We want you to be able to develop as a person and as a leader and like try to take those 
um, things that you learn in our organization and bring it with you into your careers. So for example, we have our district professional development conference that we had this summer where we teach you all how to build a resume and how to interview properly. So that way you can take those um, leadership traits and you can bring it to the real world. Other ways you can get involved is chairing an event. So like I said earlier, there are different service projects um, that your club can host. And each service event, you'll have a chair who's involved of like coordinating everything, like carpool and making sure everything is set for the service project and the day of making sure everything is going smoothly for the event. So that's a way you can um, be involved through leadership. Another way is joining committees, whether it's club, division, like leadership team, or ad hoc committees, also our district committees, like I've mentioned earlier, or international committees that Kay talked about. Another way you can also get involved is hosting a workshop. An another plugin is FTC workshops were extended, so apply. I believe they're due tomorrow night, so make sure to apply. Another thing is there's also um, workshops for district convention, spring training conference, and then also workshops on your club or division level. And you can ask your lieutenant governor or ask your club president, executive board, or point of board, how to get involved and how you can host a workshop. Another thing that we provide um, specifically for members is our member hosted webinars. This happens every month. Um, you can apply online, it's a Google form, and it's real quick. Um, just talk about what you want to share to our district, and we'll go through an application process, and you can teach all the members of CNH, just like this one. So yay. Next up, we have fellowship. So how to get involved with that is there's club souls and events that clubs provide. Usually they happen like at the end of each meeting, you can go, um, they'll have like a eat for service or like maybe a fundraiser, like small board game social. So like go out and have fun, meet new friends. Um, another way you can get involved with fellowship is to interclub. What I mean by that is, like I said earlier, there's divisions. So those are the schools that consist of the schools are around you. So what you can do is you can go to another school's event or go to another school's meeting and show them support because like you want to show that like it's more than just your own home club like there's so many different levels and like the, there's so many other clubs so you want to get involved with everyone but make sure to ask for permission if needed by an advisor um next you can attend divisional or district events divisional events such as your divisional council meetings every, like every month or like um the divisional service projects or socials that you may have. Uh, depending on like the division and the lieutenant governor, you can attend all those fun events. And then district events, um, we have one coming up in October, which is like Sikai North and South. And you can go out and have like a great time and you go for a good cause. And there's like a bunch of different events. You should check out the CNA Circle K website on the calendar for all the fun upcoming events. Okay, next we have Circle K and the Kiwanis family. So like I said earlier, Circle K is the largest collegiate organization, but we're not just um, in college, we're a sponsored branch within the Kiwanis family. Yay, KFAM! So what is the Kiwanis family um, and what it consists of? So Kiwanis is the organization um, for adults and they sponsor different um, branches. and these are the branches that it consists of. They have K Kids, which is for elementary school. And then there's Builder Club, Builders Club for um, middle school. In high school, you have Key Club or Key Wins, depending on the high school. Some may have both. Um, we have obviously Circle K, yay! And then Action Club is for adults who have some type of disability. So all together, we're the Kiwanis family, yay. And like, um, 
In terms of interclubbing, like I said earlier, you don't have to just go to another school's meeting. You can also attend like Kiwana's meetings. And if you're approved, you can attend like different branches, meetings and events. Okay, so how to get involved as a new member. So new member involvement. So what you want to do is you can ask to chair events. So like I said earlier, take the opportunity to host like a service project. Um, it's really not that hard. And you can also get help and support from your board members. Um, if you're a new member, I highly recommend this. Like take the leadership opportunity and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And you feel very accomplished after like um, your service project, after it goes well smoothly. Another way to get involved is become a mentee. So most of the clubs um, do have like mentorship systems um, where you can apply to be a mentee and you can get a mentor. And then they can teach you about what there is in Circle K, someone to guide you and someone to just be your friend, someone to be there to show you support throughout the club and the journeys. Um, shout out to our Circle K week. Today is also Mentor Mentee Monday. So make sure to post on Facebook or Instagram about your mentor or mentee or someone who inspires you in Circle K. <laughs> Shameless plug. But anywho, um, another way is to be active in your families. Um, not every club has a family system, but if your club does have a family system, you should definitely get involved. This is another way to become closer to another um, small group in your club. Because I know that sometimes it could be overwhelming since there are like so many members in a club. So um, by having a family system, um, it's more intimate and you can like get to know members better. Another way to get involved is um, participating in the member recognition program. So what that is, is there's a bunch of service hours that you can accomplish and there, there are different tags you can accomplish. Just by attending this webinar, you got like a MRP tag for attending. So yeah, you can look that up on the website to see the different requirements and different levels of MRP and get involved because it's an awesome way to get recognized in our district. Um, another way you can get involved, like I said earlier, there are committees um, with your club. You can join like different committees to help your club um, establish events or make like a scrapbook or etc. And just overall volunteering at service events. Your club officers work hard to provide these events for you. So show some support and come out to your local communities and make a difference. And another thing, like I mentioned earlier, you can lead workshops. So whether it's like a district workshop at um, events like FTC or DCON, or leading workshops during a club meeting or divisional council meeting, like get involved and contact people on how you can do that. Okay. As an active returning member, how you want to stay active? You can chair and even plan events. Um, there are different committees and there are ad hoc chairs. So what that is is like uh, a chair just to help plan one specific event. So you can get involved by doing that, especially since you have more experience, you're able to get a better understanding and help your club officers out and also lead other general members on how to contribute to these events. Become a mentor. Um, I think becoming a mentor is one of the greatest things in Circle K because you actually get to see um, new members blossom and grow and you're you're the one who's like responsible for that. And like when you see them blossom in Circle K, you feel super proud and happy. So I highly recommend if your club has a mentorship system, do that. And if you don't have a mentorship system, you should definitely talk to your md &E chair and start one. Uh, next, like I said, um, some schools have um, a family system. So apply as a family head. So if you're a returning member and like um, you aren't on board, but you still want to get involved in the way, um, another great way is being a family head. You can help all the littles in your family um, be more active and 
participate in like different events and you call could also host your own family events and socials and whatnot. And another thing, like I said, for new and returning members, stay active by accomplishing um, MRP statuses. So yay, MRP, member recognition. Um, also, get involved at district events. Uh, for example, you can apply to be a judge at CKI North or South, so that way you can help run the event smoothly um, you can apply to be a team captain at fall training conference and also host workshops. Or you can apply to be like an SAA or talk to your club to be an SAA or so on and so forth. There's like so many different opportunities. So talk to your district board, talk to you, your board members and see how you can get involved. And then last but not least, share your experience. Like you've been here for a while and like you've had the experiences and you've learned and grown from like this organization. So help general members like, and new members who haven't had like these experience learn and help them like be more comfortable and like help them participate. It's always great to share. Yay. <laughs> Okay, that's basically it. Um, anyone have que any questions, comments, or concerns, Q&A? In committee, you can help answer some questions or share any experiences. Hi guys, this is Jennifer Quay from Cal State Fullerton. Um, so I missed a very important committee on the international level. Uh, Donald Franks is the chair, or Donald Franks, who's in this chat room and he's a Mr. Kohei International member as well as an immediate past district board member. What's up, past treasurer? Um, but he is the uh, awards committee chair. And the awards committee, um, they are basically in charge of looking through all of the applic or uh, looking through all of the past applications that we've had from the previous year and they would end up um, getting evaluations back from everybody who attended um, or even applied uh, for these uh, awards um, who was recognized on the international level um, and they're recognized at CKIX or international convention um, so they compile all that information and then they edit it and convert um things over to like excel or google spreadsheet and then after that they release those applications and everybody in um, circle here international is invited to go ahead and apply for these awesome awards opportunities and get recognized um, on the international level uh, so if you are excited to recognize people on the international level you are more than welcome to join that committee as well in the future yay Does anyone else have any other questions? Okay, guys, uh, this is Jennifer Quay again. So one of the perks of being in Circle Hay International is that you get a lot of opportunities to apply for scholarships. And often some of these scholarships are not a one recipient per award kind of situation. It's going to be um, a lot of members getting these uh, opportunities to win these scholarships. So on the district level, we have a variety of scholarships for you to go ahead and apply for. And I think usually these applications come out in like December, January, 
around there. Um, and then you are recognized at the district convention. Um, so that means that you're going to be, you know, on stage, um, getting congratulated by like 800 people, and it would be really, really cool. Um, and then we also have international award or international scholarships for you to apply to as well. Um, and that's two to three scholarships that you can apply for just for the international level. So all in all, you can apply for so many opportunities. Um, and that's a way that Circle K likes to give back to its members. So keep a lookout for the scholarship opportunities um, very soon. Thanks, Quay. Okay, so someone asked, um, or someone mentioned that a lot of new members ask what a DCM is, and it's kind of hard to explain. So DCM, in, in all, is a divisional council meeting, and you can basically explain to them that just like how clubs have club meetings to inform them about the events going on in um, your club, uh, a division, divisional council meeting is to a meeting just to update you on what goes on within the dis district, like all the district events and what committees are up to, so different di district committees and any updates that they have, and then updates from all the clubs in the surrounding area within the division. So that way you can be more informed about the events near you so you can get involved um, at other schools' events, um, include like not including like your own. So yeah. So you could just explain to them. It's another opportunity to like get to know members from outside the club and basically socialize and learn about like different opportunities. So yeah, thank you for that question. Okay, uh, hi, this is Jeremy, the Ruby Division Rep. So we got a couple questions about like what um, events new members should go to and like how to encourage them there. So I'm kind of like gonna mix them um, so, like a good first event that I think everyone should definitely go to, um, if you can make it, is um, for sure CKI North and South, and that's actually coming up next month, so you all should go. Um, it's a pretty fun first event that I think everyone can participate in, um, nothing too intense, and it's definitely a really fun way for people to connect and make because I think that's one of the things that get people to really stay in Circle K is the connections you make. Um, some ways you can encourage your members to go out. Uh, something that my home club did during my first year is that any new member that wanted to um, go to, say for example, CKI South, we would cover the costs for new members that want to go since it's a relatively uh, cheap event. But there's other things you could do, like um, for the bigger district events, such as FTC or DCON, you could definitely have contests that could sponsor new members. So it gives them more of an incentive to go. Thanks for answering the question, Jeremy. Uh, so someone asked, um, what are some events that new members should go to? So I highly recommend that you go to your new member installation. So usually clubs have a, like an event or like it's part of their meeting where new members get installed. So you're officially like part of the club and it's all special and you get to dress up. So yeah, I highly recommend you go to that. Um, another event that I recommend is fall training conference. Um, this event is a district event and it's geared towards new members. There's so many different opportunities to learn through like the different workshops and the team activities and it's one of like um, the mom one of the events that like will surely give you your CKI moment. So like um, it's definitely the event that like kept me in Circle K. So I highly recommend new members attend. Um, so there was a service project question. If a member has an idea for a service but their club doesn't offer it, how can they bring it to life? Um, I know, for example, uh, my own home club, we have an, uh, a Google form where members can uh, pitch ideas to the board about the service project that they'd like to host. So I recommend clubs do that so that way, like, because not every service project um, connects with like every single member. So this is a great way to like have members 
who want to get more involved and take on a leadership role and um, and get involved with service is to like provide that form where they can just share their ideas and hopefully like their board and different members or, and the committees within the club can help it come to life. Um, someone asked, why should you run for leadership positions? I think this is like a great opportunity for character development. You, know, you can learn a lot through all like trial and error. I definitely wasn't someone who wanted to take on a lot of um, different leadership positions. And I was like very like timid and shy about it. But like after like, like taking a step and like going for board, I realized that like um, it's definitely worth it. Like you learn so much from it and it's definitely something good to put on your resume if like, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, definitely try it out. And even if you don't get it, running or applying for a board position or any position in general is a great learning experience, especially when you go through like caucusing or like interviewing process, like you learn just through that whole process, even if you don't get the position. Kind of to add on to that, um, I say if you do feel the urge to apply for a leadership position, um, I think it's always best to just take that leap of faith because, I mean, the worst thing that could happen is they say no. And even if they do happen to say no, I think you should just take that energy and focus it on to, you know, applying it again or um, thinking of ways you can, I guess, improve or just further, uh, I guess, further your knowledge and say, for example, you have an interview um, for a board position and you don't get it, you could take from that experience how you can improve upon the next time and if you do want to apply again. And it's also very applicable to like real life situations too. To add on to all these wonderful answers, um, if you are nervous, you are more than welcome to ask the people or the person who has had this position before you. So let's say that you're just like, oh my God, I met this person who is this position and they really inspire me because they have a wonderful personality or they learned a lot or they got to inspire a lot of people just like me and I want to be just like them. Then go ahead and go and ask them some questions as to how they felt about their position and how they can in turn inspire somebody or even the entire club, um, hopefully if they run for president, for example. And so I think that's a great reason as to why uh, we continue having new people in leadership. And at the same time, um, one of the things that we were from, if you're from Orange Coast College, you know this phrase and it's called legacy, which is our, our advisor, Jeff Nimble, is like one of his favorite words. Um, but being able to run for a position means that you can instill some kind of legacy and you can change Circle K International. And because we are a student-led organization, P, our, the Circle K members are the ones who get to vote for you, um, who get to vote for the legacy, who get to vote for the dream that you have for Circle K International in the future. And you can set that precedence um, and inspire other Circle K members um, to follow in your footsteps as well. And I think that's a great opportunity. Um, and you get to learn so many skills. So uh, that's another thing about being a leader. Yeah. Oh, I just want to give like a little input. Like experience is great and everything, but even if you don't have experience, you can definitely just try it out. Like, for example, like I'll share this, like I've never really had like a position with membership development and education but I have like dabbled into like um, the position since my other positions like president and secretary I was involved with that and I helped out and I thought you know what like what the hey like might as well just apply for a district md &E, and like look how that turned out so you like really don't have to have like much ex like experience experience is always great but if you have like the heart for it and you have the commitment and you have all these ideas that can help uh, whether it's like your club division or district or international like go ahead and apply and take the chance so i just want to give that little input <laughs> um 
Um, for all personal MBAL questions, please directly message me. Thanks. Bye. Okay, um, well, I think that's all the questions that we have for now. And if you do have any more questions regarding Circle K or anything in general, feel free to talk to me or talk to the district md &E committee or talk to like district board or anyone because we're here for you. We want to help make your Circle K experience a memorable one. So I just want to say thank you for your time and remember to sign up in the link provided.